Hey, TOQers. Well, it's spring and it's time to go see Steve again. I've been thinking and I'm in the mood for some beauty, some power, some treachery, and some betrayal. And I'll bet you that Steve Hayes can find something to fit all that criteria. Let's go see him. Come on. Welcome to Thornfield Manor. Ooh. Johnny, we hadn't done a Cecil B. DeMille movie in a while, so I decided to choose one of my favorites, because tis the time of year. Hedy Lamar and Victor Mature in Cecil B. DeMille's Samson and Delilah from 1949. Now, DeMille had taken a little time off after he did Unconquered, which was a story in the Revolutionary War and took place in upstate New York and Gary Cooper and Paulette Goddard. So he decided to go back to his roots. In the silent films, he had done the original King of Kings, he had done the Ten Commandments, and he he wanted to, he was always going back to biblical stories. He just loved them. Sign of the Cross, it was his. And he loved the things with ancient Rome and spectacles and stuff. Well, he couldn't do better than Samson and Delilah. This was a Technicolor extravaganza and the biggest box office picture of 1950. Oh, the Bella Dance! <laughs> Watch out for the He took Victor Mature, who had this like incredible face and this amazing physique. I'd love to keep the power of your arms. <laughs> And he was in film noir for a while. He had done Cry of the City, he had done I Wake Up Screaming, and he'd sort of made his reputation doing those. And at first, DeMille wanted Steve Reeves. Can you imagine Steve Reeves in Samson and Delilah? <clears throat> anyway, he wanted him to tone down his muscles and Reeves wouldn't do it, so he got Victor Mature. To get to play Delilah, he chose Hattie Lamar. Hattie Lamar, was one of the most interesting, incredible actresses that ever hit Hollywood. She was one of the top ten most beautiful women of that period. Even a ruby loses luster beside your lips. She was an Austrian-born actress. She had married a munitions guy over there in Germany, and she got rid of him. And she had made this scandalous movie called Ecstasy, where she appeared nude. And that had made the rounds around the world. So she decided she was going to go to America, and she got on a boat, and she met Louis B. Mayer on the boat. By the time the boat docked in New York, she had a contract with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer. She became a star instantly with the movie Algiers in the late 30s with Charles Boyer. Come with me to the Casbah, you know. And she b did a whole bunch of different movies. She did Tundaleo in White Cargo. I am Tundaleo. They always sort of cast her as exotics, but she couldn't quite find the perfect part for her. They even cast her as a Mexican girl in Tortilla Flat. Uh, but it didn't really kind of matter because she was so sumptuously beautiful. I've waited a long time to hear those words. When they cast her as Delilah, this was probably one of the most scandalously uh, provocative films of the time. Um, there was a lot of innuendo about it. There was Her costumes were as flimsy as they possibly could get it. I couldn't escape you if you bow me with these seven green reeds. DeMille was a contradiction in terms. He always liked to show you uh, the biblical side of things with, with as much sex underneath it as he could possibly get. Do you know a better bait, Samson? Men always respond. And with Lamar, uh, Edith Head had a field day. She created this incredible cape that's made out of peacock feathers. And gold and turquoise. The color in this movie is not to be believed. The supporting cast was great. Angela Lansbury plays the younger sister, Semidar, who is first Samson is in love with, and then she gets killed within like the first 20 minutes. and Hedy Lamar makes her move. George Sanders, ever George Sanders, is the Philistine king. Delilah, I love Delilah. You know, he's sort of doing Addison DeWitt, and, but he happens to be in the Bible this time. So you're Samson, the brawling troublemaker. But he's a, such a fabulous actor. He was always sort of wry and austere and had that ennui, you know. I couldn't care less. You know, but he really did. Mighty? In what? Certainly not my army. Victor Mature? Uh, DeMille never had as, as much trouble with any actor as he did with Victor Mature. Victor Mature, although he was consummate beefcake, um, was kind of afraid of things. And when he had to wrestle the lion, he said, I'm not wrestling a lion. I'm not going to get killed wrestling a real lion. And DeMille said, Victor. 
the lion has no teeth. He goes, I'm not going to get gummed to death by a lion either, so you can forget it. So they had to use a double for the lion. When he was uh, kills the Philistines with the jaw of an ass, you know, uh, Samson does, he kills a hundred thousand Philistines. The wind machines got to be so loud that Victor ran to his trailer in fear and DeMille got on the megaphone and called him yellow in front of the whole, <laughs> in front of the whole cast of crew. Victor couldn't have cared less. You worry more than my little mother, come on. Delilah cuts Samson's hair. He is blinded by the Philistines, and then they lead him out to be whipped and made fun of at this big ceremony in the temple. And Delilah has repented. She's still in love with him. He says, just get me to the main pillar. So she whips him, and he grabs the whip, and she leads him up to the pillars. Now, the thing I always loved about DeMille movies is that he was, he came out of silent movies, and even though his movies were talking pictures, they still were a lot of times set up like silent movies. People going, ah! Or, oh, oh. You know, he'd do all these freezing shots, you know? He loved doing it, but it heightened the, the drama. Nobody, nobody could create tension and a spectacle like DeMille could. When this temple comes down, it will make you scream. It is so, so good. There's even this little actress who, Dorothy Adams, who I just loved. She played the maid of Jean Tierney and Laura, who's always screaming, No! Not Laura! No! Well, in this one, they give her one second where she looks up, a uh, close-up, and she looks up at this temple falling, and she goes, ah! so fabulous it just heightens the whole thing this movie is hollywood biblical hokum at its very best it's got spectacle it's got color it's got sex it's got victor mature and it's got that genius inventor hetty lamar who little did hollywood know instead of going out night clubbing at night she was coming home and inventing wi-fi uh you know she was an inventor she came home every night and worked on drafting tables and with richard Enthiel created this thing during world war ii that would keep people from breaking signals with torpedoes and getting them off course. And she invented these things. She was one of the most brilliant women ever. And you should check out the documentary that's on her. It's, it's absolutely fabulous. In the meantime, sit back and enjoy Victor Mature, Hedy Lamar, Angela Lansbury, Henry Wilkinson, and the incomparable George Sanders, and a spectacle beyond belief in Cecil B. DeMille's classic, Samson and Delilah. <sighs> Hot. Let's all go to the lobby. Hello. I'd like to talk to you. Never mind movies. I want to talk about laxatives for a second. All right. Delicious things to eat.